This is a KGUN 9 On Your Side news update. Tucson police have identified the man who was shot and killed during a fight with officers Sunday. Police were called to a home burglary near Drexel and 6th Avenue at about 1 o'clock yesterday morning. Once they got there, they saw a vehicle leaving, and after a traffic stop, at least four people took off, but the driver stayed on scene. Officers learned the passengers went into a nearby apartment. When police made that search, they found 31-year-old Carlos Vale hiding in a bathtub. After a fight, an officer shot Vale, who later died. No officers were injured. Three people were arrested, but not in connection with that particular burglary. An Arizona woman is in custody after leaving a five-month-old baby in the car yesterday afternoon where it was 107 degrees. This happened in Goodyear. Police arrested that woman and emergency crews took the baby to the hospital. Now, health experts say when the temperatures get that hot outside, it doesn't take too long for them to get even hotter on the inside of your vehicle. Your child's smartphone can be a doorway to dangers like drug use and human trafficking. Tucson police are now helping parents understand where social media uh, use can take kids and how to understand the apps on their child's phones. For more information and resources about a workshop that happened over the weekend with TPD, you can always go to our website, that is kgun9.com. Well, the Tohono Tool Park is preparing for its biggest night of the year, the 28th annual Bloom Night. Nine on your side's Veronica Acosta has more from how staff members say when they know the big moment is actually going to happen. Veronica. Guys, good morning. Well, here's the really interesting thing about this plant. There's really no telling what triggers it to actually bloom. This is the bud itself. You can see it's still a little bit small. The size of it is really telling. It has to be a little bit bigger in order for the plant expert to be able to determine whether or not bloom night is getting pretty close. As of right now, as of today, we do know there's still probably a few weeks until they can call bloom night here at the Tohono Tool Park. For those of you who are big fans and want to come out, there is a link you can find on our website. That's at kega9.com, where you can closely follow whether or not Bloom Night is getting pretty close. For now, reporting from Tohono Tool Park, Veronica Costa, Kega9 on your side. Looks like there's some cloud cover out there. Yeah. Doesn't there? Let's check in with April for a look outside. Hey, April. Hey there. Yeah, we got a band of clouds moving from west to east, but very quickly, so it's not going to last long. We're at 75 right now. These clouds continuing to move to the east. We'll eventually see mostly sunny skies by the end of the day and seasonal highs. 101 is our average, and we're going to be right around that really for the next seven days, staying dry, lots of sunshine, and maybe dipping to the upper 90s for the weekend.